Hello and welcome to another fun-filled episode of West Plays Pokemon Yellow, and I made a mistake. A mistake. If you look at my profile, you will see that Sabrina is actually number six, and I have not yet beaten number five. So in the interest of going in the proper order, we are going to ditch Sabrina's gym right now and head on down over to Fuchsia City. So yes, my name is Wes, the average trainer. It's been a bit of a been a bit of a while, you know, getting things done. But I am here and I am hopefully going to be able to do a blitz of episodes and put them up, you know, day by day, or maybe just put them up all at once. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really decided. But so far I am in Celadon City. I have my four badges, four more to go, then the Elite Four. Lots of fours here. So yeah, back in the saddle, so to speak, and I'm here to play Pokemon. Especially since Pokemon Day has already come and gone, and it's just been a while, yeah. I'm recording one week after Pokemon Day. And lots of people are enjoying Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow on their virtual console things for the 3DS. Virtual console versions, I should say. They're loving it. They're doing all those Mew glitches and all that, and getting all these crazy missing nose. It's pretty exciting. Alright, so I have not fought the Snorlax yet, and part of me is thinking, you know what? Maybe I will just make that Snorlax faint. I'm not sure yet. Let's put Ivy out in front. And... Pokefoot. I have 12 Great Balls. Let's just see what I can do. If I can't catch them, no big deal. I already have one. No big deal at all. Snorlax woke up! It attacked in a grumpy rage. That's how I feel when I get up in the morning. Or when somebody wakes me up. Like the dog. Who's really cute. Alright, so right off the bat, Thunder Wave. Just uh just to get it. Paralyzed. Oh yeah, fully paralyzed. Thunderbolt! That's a decent amount. Okay, um... Do another th Thunderbolt, since that last one was a critical, so this one should not take it down. Oh! Two criticals. Well, you know what? That's life. That's life. Good job, Ivy. Oh well. With a big yard, so I actually turned to the mountains. I feel like returning to the mountains. Let's see, what do I have? You know what? I need to do some shopping real quick. Bike. Go back to the mart. I need some lemonades. 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 Lemon. Can't seem to say it right. It doesn't sound right, at least. Let's take the elevator up there since it's on the roof. So yeah, I hope everyone's been enjoying their uh, virtual console releases of Pokemon. I got Pokemon Red and got a free poster from GameStop because of it. So that was. Oh no, I didn't want to go back to the first floor. Ah. Wasting time. Yeah, I got a free poster. I have a PS3 now. Life's good. I have Common Rider Battle War 2 for the PS3. I considered getting the one for Vita first, but considering this one is like so uber dirt cheap at this point, like super, super cheap, I figured, you know what? Try the one on PS3, see if I even like it. You know? What if I don't even like it? Okay, I'm gonna get like. Okay, fresh water. Ugh, it doesn't have... It doesn't, like, remember my choice. That's a bummer. Well, okay, I'm gonna get, like, f ten fresh waters. I'm just gonna keep pushing A. I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee. It's a pretty sweet poster that they gave out at GameStop. I have it hanging up in my room along alongside my Yokai Watch poster and my Star Wars poster, so I officially have the best elementary school classroom ever, at least in terms of aesthetics and decoration. I have ranger keys, I got my lock seeds, my uh, common rider belts, uh, my yokai watch, my yokai medallion things, got all my geeky stuff in there. Kids think I'm awesome. I even have an old emac. 
and now I hear an alarm going. I think someone next door is waking up right now, which is kind of weird, because it's kind of already started. The day is halfway there. I haven't been counting, so let's just get one more lemonade. And we'll call it good. Let's see, so what have I been playing? Uh, Commodore Battle Ride War 2 is pretty fun. I mean, it's slow. Oh my goodness, the loading times on, well, just the PS3 in general, but this game is horrendous. Horrendous. It's like literally two minutes to go from like the stage to the menu to the stage, and it's just like, what? Two minute loading times in between? But I am thankful that I can get the trophies, because I really like trophies. Trophies are my jam. For the first part of it, which is great, because one of my favorite writers ever. Oh, I forgot to heal the Ivy. Oh, whatever. Just use one of these uh, fresh waters down here. Gonna try not to backtrack to the Pokemon Center. Let's see. So who am I going to? Let's put Necrom in first, because Necrom's still a good, good Pokemon. I mean, that Haunter. Can't trade it or anything to get a Gengar, but it's a Haunter, so that's nice. What do you want? I'm just piking, dude. Just piking, Mr. Super Saiyan. Well, I guess I wouldn't make you a Super Saiyan because you have black hair. I'd just make you a normal Saiyan. Saiyajin, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, well, let's just see what Necron does. I don't remember the type matchups for Ghost and Poison and all that. Let's just see what happens. It's not the worst. <clears throat> Necron might be able to take this. Yeah, so coming right Batch Ride War. I borrowed a couple games from a friend of mine. Oh, I got Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix and Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix, which I'm really excited about because I didn't really get a chance to play the remixes. I've obviously played Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Chain of Memories, Birth by Sleep, etc, etc, etc. But these two games, with an HD remix and trophy support, that's me. That, that's exactly what I want. Right, let's do a Confuse Ray, since you can be paralyzed and confused. Parafusion. Confusalize. Ah! Disabled me again, but at least it was just a Confuse Ray. Okay, Nightshade, and you're done. Should be good there. Let's go. Nice. Oh, a coughing. Okay, um, sure, yeah. Keep it going. So there's that, yeah. I, uh, I'll put more time into Kamen Rider later. When I have a little bit more time to just sit down and just enjoy a game. Or maybe I'll do a video on it. I don't know. Play through it a little bit. We'll see how that goes. It's a bit of a shame that there's no ghost or drive in this version. Obviously, since it came out before those, before time indeed even ended, but... You know, Ghosts and Drive, they're cool. So I'll just have to play as them when I get to the Vita version of Battle Ra Bat Tried War Genesis. So yeah, Kingdom Hearts, Kamen Rider. Uh, oh yeah, I borrowed a couple games from my friend, which are, let me just grab them while I'm thinking about it. Uh, I borrowed the Orange Box, since the only game I had played on it was Portal, and a little bit of Half-Life 2. So, you know, I can play a little bit of Team Fortress 2, and replay Portal with trophies, because I'm a trophy guy. And it says it's the most complete Half-Life 2 collection to date. It includes, com includes complete versions of Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Team Fortress 2, Portal, all that. Yeah. Don't you dare laugh. Uh, Fallout 3, which, you know, I've never really played a Fallout game, but I saw my brother play a lot of it, so... You know, I I'm a well aware of the series. It's definitely not something I would normally get, but... I figured, hey, if I can borrow it, that's sweet. At least get the uh, introduction done, because I like Liam Neeson. And then I also got the PS3 version of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, from him. Which I, you know, I don't have the trial thing yet. My assumption is that I can play the trial. I really don't like MMORPGs anymore. Like, I just don't... Well, it's not that I don't like them. I'm just really indifferent to them. It's just not something I'm interested in playing, really. But I'll give it a shot. You know, at least get in there, create a character. 
probably just use like a random characterizer thingy if they have that. You know, to have some fun with that. And then, obviously, since I've been, you know... Oh, and I have Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Dragon Ball Xenoverse, which I've created my character. It looks pretty good. I like my character. He's pretty, pretty awesome. I'll have to do a video about that. And just show off his skills, because he's got mad skills. And mad hair. He is the Zac Efron of Dragon Ball characters. I think. Maybe you'll like him too. Yeah, other than that... Not a whole lot going on. I mean, I got all those PS Plus games that I've been... You know, all those free games that they've been giving away. I've been claiming all the PS4, PS3, PS Vita. All the games, basically, since... All it is is just a few clicks and you got it. And as long as you have PS Plus, you can play them for free. So, you know, I have, like, Dragon Age Origins. Uh, I got Life is Strange, like, the whole season. So maybe I'll do a little bit on that. What else do I have? Just a ton of games. Man, they're all free, too. It's like, yes! Free games! I'll do that. Playable on a PS3. So that's my life. PS3. PS Vita, you know, obviously. Cyber Sleuth taking over my life. 17 hours in. I'm only on Chapter 8, though. And I don't even grind that much, so, man, this game's kind of slow. Oh, no. No power points. Oh, this is going to take a little while. with lick. But I want Necrom to be a little bit stronger. So we'll just keep going with this. Oh, nice. Paralysis. It's a very uh, rainy day outside right now. It's kind of nice. It's storming. I have my corned beef in the crock pot ready for later on tonight when I can just enjoy a delicious, delicious corned beef dinner with some potatoes. Put a little spinach on there for some greens. Some salt and vinegar chips for, you know, a side snack. Yeah, life's good. Life's good. Nothing to complain about. Really difficult at, you know, the job lately, but that's the life you live when you're a teacher. Alright, let's see. Oh, he didn't even, like, lose any HP. That's kind of nice. Although he's kind of useless at the moment because he can't do much. So I'm just going to blaze through these guys real quick. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go. I'll use them as training fodder later. Let's just get to Fuchsia City. This route seems to be pretty effective if I want to avoid trainers. Pretty sure there's one on the left side that's good. Eh, almost there. Got it, okay. Might only have one more trainer up here or something, maybe? Nope, no, nope, no trainers. Nice. Sweet. I'm pretty sure there's something up here, though. <clears throat> Got this guy. What are you doing? I don't believe I ever caught a Tangela. Pretty sure no. Palatown is in the west. Okay, yeah, so... I don't remember if I mentioned this on a previous video, but I'm going to mention it right now. I am not, not, not going to do the Seafoam Islands. At all. I just have no interest in that. That is probably the biggest blight upon... Well, there's probably other bigger, bigger blights upon this game, but upon Gen 1, that... Ugh, Seafoam Islands. I just cannot stand them. I'm going to go to Pallet Town. I'm going to surf, avoid trainers if I can. And that's, that's all I'm going to do. That's it. Ain't nobody got time for the Seafoam Islands. I, I kind of regret that I have to go through the Safari Zone at this point. But at least I don't have to, like, battle every single Pokemon there. Alright, let's go spy on the gym. Let's see how strong everybody is. What you got to say to me? Invisible walls? No. Okay, first guy. Let's see how this goes. I mean, he's not wrong. Strategy is really important. You know, you could have all the level 100 Mewtwo's that you want, but you're not using strategy 
Whoa, level 38! Ooh. Ooh, these guys are gonna be tough. Maybe I should go back up that flank. Or the, the, the biking path. Oh, well, it could just be that Hypno, though. That Psychic, though, that's gonna, that's gonna be bad. Ooh, that's brutal. That, that left a mark. I'm surprised you didn't use Psychic again, because, you know, strategy would say, hey, you know, that was basically a two-hit KO. Well, I mean, it probably would have left me with a few HP points, but H points. I guess HP points is redundant. Because it is health points, so that makes it. You never, never mind. Oh no, talent! Okay, well, let's see. Can Necrom? Can he do it? With a nightshade. Oh, good. He used headbutt. That's not effective. Oh, come on, nightshade, nightshade, nightshade. Go, 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 go. <gasps> it's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Oh yeah, Necrom, we're gonna go up a level. Extraordinary. That's right. Put Necron back in the front, even though, you know, Talon's already there. But... <laughs> okay, maybe this guy will be a little bit easier. What? A ninja gym? But you're a juggler. Why do you want to be a ninja? Okay, that's, that's a little bit more manageable. Let's see what Nightshade can do to you. Great if I could just level you up right here, Necrom. That's uh, not bad. It's not bad. And if it only uses like headbutt and poison gas, then I'm set. Good. Oh, and he has to pull out the confusion. Great. Lovely. Wonderful. Exactly what I want in my life here. Right now. Come on, critical, critical, critical. Okay. He's poison. Wow, how am I faster than you? I mean, drowsy, I guess you're kind of sleepy. So I guess it makes sense, but... Alright, I'm gonna have to switch out then. Let's, uh... Hmm... Oh, no. Hmm... Who's gonna be most helpful in a fire gym? I guess Quake would be. Dig a tunnel. Dig, dig a tunnel. Oh, that was right there! Okay, scratch it. With something. You don't really have any appendages, so I don't know how you can scratch. Ooh, Kadabra. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, such a cool sprite. Really, such a really good sprite. I don't know what you're recovering from, but okay. Yes! One hit KO! I always appreciate those. Those are always nice. Hmm, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go back up to the bike path. This is gonna be a little bit difficult if this is how my uh, battles are gonna go. Ugh, poison though, come on. Come on! Drowsy. Drowsy. What are you thinking? I'm done for. Well, I'm done for too. You poisoned me. Look at that. Ugh, the screen. I can't even look at it. It hurts. Okay, let's think. Hmm. What could I do? What would be the best method here? Nah, whatever. We'll just keep going with this. Okay, so let's save right here. And I'm gonna split this up into a different episode, of course. Since we're already, you know, pushing the, the 20 minute mark and I wanna try to keep these episode's fairly short, so next time you will see me fight against Koga's Gym as best as I am able to, 
and hopefully I will, you know, be able to conquer it, you know. So it might be a little tough. It might be a little tough. So anyway, yeah, thank you for watching, and until next time, go watch the DOS Matterhorns videos, because he's putting out awesome videos, and I'm trying to make time to like, catch up on them all. I'm really behind, but you should go watch his videos, because he's awesome. Do it now! Alright, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay average. Goodbye.